This do it better topic is for the technicians among the I do it users. Almost everyone is working with virtualized servers, whether VMware, Faustware, Microsoft Virtual PC or Amazon AWS. Virtualization has prevailed with all its advantages. The documentation of the virtualized environments is done as usual in I do it. But if you already have a well-stocked CMDB in which all configuration data is documented, why should we then not also use this directly for the planning and implementation of virtual machines? And this is why we want to prove in this example how to provision virtual machines from information stored in iDoit. To automate virtual machine creation, we need access to the AP of the virtualization solution. The triggering for the provisioning has to be done by the user. Therefore, we use the iDoit event module. But now let's go directly to the way it's done. All the needed information is already documented in a virtual machine within iDoit. such as the number and amount of memory used, the network configuration, the number and size of the local storage, or on which virtualization host the finished machine should run. All this information will now be used to feed the API of the virtualization solution and create a new virtual machine from it. To initiate this process, it is sufficient to set the CMDB status of the virtual machine to to be provisioned. This status change will be perceived by the event module and the corresponding scripts running in the background. The virtual machine in the virtual environment will be generated. Of course, this is only one application for the event module of iDoit. The possibilities are endless here. Have you picked your curiosity with this issue? Want to learn more about iDoit and its possibilities? Just look on our website or contact us. <laughs>